Hey, now I thought we'd uh, cook one of these blooming onions. You're at, around the house with Kay and Tom, and I'm Tom, and Kay's running around here somewhere. And here's the ingredients we're going to use. We got two cups of flour, self-rising flour. We have a large onion, the large onions I can find. We, I'm going to put some Mrs. Dash in. Got some lemon pepper. Got some panko. Got some garlic powder here. So let's get started with it, and I'll tell you how much I'm gonna, how much this season here I'm gonna add to this flour. Start with, just so I don't forget it, I'm gonna start out with my salt and pepper. <laughs> so if I don't, I'll forget it in a minute and it won't have any. Now you just do this to taste. If you like a lot of pepper, put a lot of pepper in it. If you don't, put a little bit in it. Now the salt, I'm just gonna put a little bit in it. That about do it on salt and pepper and now on this Mr. Dash here I was going to take it and open up the top like this and just put a couple sprinkles in this Mr. Dash is good I don't think you ever put too much in it okay and now this lemon pepper here I'm going to do it about the same way Now, panko here, breadcrumbs. I'm going to take about uh, two tablespoons of the breadcrumbs out like this. Uh, sort of liberal tablespoons, but that way you get the message. Put about two of them in there like that. And now, for the garlic powder here. Let's put one teaspoon of garlic powder in it here. There you go. Now you can find all kinds of recipes online for this thing. And so if you see something in here you like or don't like, you know, just don't do it. Or if you see something you think you might like better, go ahead and uh, put it in there. But now I'm going to stir it up real good with this whisk here. Okay, now in this other bowl here, we're going to put uh, two eggs and a cup of milk. I'm going to put the egg in. There's one. Crack the other one good. There's two. And the eggshell, we can't have that, so you got to fish the eggshell out. Just like that. Now for the for the milk. There we go. Now we're gonna take the whisk and whip this up pretty good here. Here on the onion. Now this this is the top part of it, and this is the part where the where the root is at. So we'll go cut the top off right here. If I can do it without cutting my finger off, just like that. Now we're gonna take the root down here where the root's at, and just barely go cut that just to make it flat down here, just to cut the 
That's all you need on that. Okay, now we need to peel it. We're off to a good start with that. I see we've got a bad spot in this onion right there. I'll have to take care of that. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is turn this thing upside down. So, now this is the bottom where the uh, where the uh, root was facing, or where the root had it at. And so, a little more house cleaning there. So now you want to take and start start your knife and run it right at the edge of that base right here. And run it straight down and out, just like this. And then you go here and do this side the same way. Okay, and over here you do the same. I'm going to keep right on until I cut my hand. Maybe not. Like that. And over here and do the same. Like if you're just cutting straight down on it, you'd just be quarter what it is. But now, in between each one of these, you want to do three if you can made that first one a little bit too big but we'll get it just like that and then you get to this next one here and you get three more right here I'm not going to make that first one as big as the way it won't be so aggravating at the end there. Okay, now after you've gone all around it like that, then you've about got your little onion going here. Okay, now let's see how that is in the middle here. Yeah, there it comes. We got it all the way through. Now, okay, now we're going to take the uh, onion and just we'll lose that little piece. So we're just going to we'll set it down in here upside down, swish it all around just like this. Take this spoon here, get some stuff up on top of it and all, sort of run down in there. Now the trick is keeping one hand dry, <laughs> so I'm going to try to uh, switch this thing around some more and turn it over. Oh yeah, like that, like that, and now we'll put in this uh, flour with our, uh, with our uh, seasoning in it. I can't do it with one hand, so I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to really be making a mess here. Now, we'll set it over here in this flour. Now, I'm just take and put this flour all around it as much as I can. I'm try to keep it from falling apart as much as I can at the same time. Separate these petals a little bit so it can get down in between. Alright, now I'm going to put it back over here in the milk. I'm going to set it right side up this time. Squash it all around pretty good. down in there. Now we'll back into the flour again. Oh, it's getting heavy. Just like this. Separate those pillows as much as you can without knocking them off. 
but you don't want them to come off either, you know, so. Alright, just like that. Okay, now I've got a fresh pair of gloves on. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up, attempt to pick it up, like this, and try to turn it upside down and shake it as much of that flour off as you can. Okay, just like that. And then, ease over here to the Ninja Foodie Basket and set it down in there. Just like that, and let it spread out. Just like that. Okay, and now we're going to set it down this Ninja Foodie here. And we're going to shut the lid on it. Then we're going to turn on the power and we're going to hit the air crisp button. We're going to go to 400 degrees. We're going to go to 15 minutes. And we're going to hit the start button. Now, let it get started here. Well, I've got to say, y'all can join my channel and give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. And thank you very much to you people who watches my videos. And then we'll let it roll, and I'm going to check on it in a couple minutes, because after it gets going a little bit, I'm probably going to stop and spray just a little bit of olive oil on top of it. Not much, but just a little. Okay, well, I've got this mat here. Anything you see me using on my videos, most of the time you can go down below and check on the links, and they're down there if you'd like to purchase one of your own, or some of your own, whichever the case may be. So, just something to keep in mind. Okay, now it's just got a few more minutes left. When I open it up, look, and I see a lot of these uh, spots here that's dry. They still look like flour, and so I need to put a little oil on them. Now you need to, or you need to, uh, if you want it to brown, you need to uh, spray the white spots that the flour is showing like that. And that way, the oil helps it uh, brown up. And so now, we'll shut the lid and let it get started back. Fish that has still had a couple of those little uh, flowery looking pieces on it, so I sprayed a little more oil on it, put three more minutes on it. So now we've got uh, 18 minutes cook time. So we'll see what it's going to look like in a minute, because it's about finished now. Down to about six, five seconds, and we're fixing to open it up, and you can see as soon as I do what it's going to look like. And that beeps, and it's done. We'll raise the lid. Oh, that looks pretty good, boys and girls. Okay, now we'll get it out of here. Try to. <laughs> now, our next trip, you gotta get it out of this basket and on this plate over here. This is a pretty limber spatula here. Go up and underneath it like that. Oh, don't that look good? <laughs> and right over here on the plate. And now we're set. Pull this little piece off right here. <laughs> Try it. Now you need this. Separate your petals better than I did this one, but it is still good and hot. Now I'm dipping this in this uh, Hidden Valley Ranch dressing here. Just about every time we go anywhere, you ain't half cut dipping sauce. We always use ranch. So, hmm. Yeah, it's really delicious. Okay, and there you have it on our version of this blooming onion. And I'll tell you what's the truth. You need to separate your petals a little bit more. And this onion is probably a little bit too big because it covered the entire inside of that foodie basket just about. 
because we got some big onions to do this with so anyway but it was really good it was really delicious so give it a try and see how you like it sometimes and like I say we use the ranch dressing there and it's delicious and so till next time hope you come back and see us again real soon because I hope to have another video for you real soon and uh, till then I'll see y'all later have a real good day goodbye